In this video, I'm going to demonstrate networking a PC to an 840 DSL control. On the left, we have a Windows 7 PC. On the right side is the 840D control. And the control has software version 4.7. You can check this by selecting menu select. Diagnostic and version. So we're working with a 4.7 control. So the first step is to configure the port on the control side. And we do this with bus TCP IP. TCP IP diagnostic. And we can see we have two ports on the control. We have X120, X130. X120 is used by the system to connect to operator panel components and other devices. X130 is a company network. This is open for the end user and this is going to be our connection to the to the PC. So TCP IP config. And here again we see the X120 and the X130. So again we're using the X130. So we're going to change. And for this demonstration we're just going to do a peer-to-peer -peer configuration with static IP addresses. So we'll set up the address on the control side. And enter the subnet. Okay, so here's our static IP configuration at X130 on the control side. Okay. So the control is going to refresh the, the data that we've entered and you can see here that there is no IP and subnet assigned. We have the requested IP and subnet. So at this point we need to cycle power on the control in order to activate the new settings. So we're back from the power cycle. We want to double check that our settings have actually been assigned. So menu select, diagnostic, to the right on the horizontal bar, bus TCP IP, TCP IP diagnostic, TCP IP config. And we can see now that the values that we've entered have, have been assigned. So we're good here. Now we want to go back to, to the PC, set the addressing here. I'm going to use this adapter here. So again, we're going to go with a static IP. So at this, this point, we can ping the control, make sure we have a connection. Okay, so we're good here. We have a response from the control. So the next step is to set up a logical drive and what this will do for us is in Program Manager we have the NC memory and we can create new soft keys here and this new soft key will access the shared folder. So menu select setup HMI logical drives so we can choose from any of the free soft keys so we'll take this soft key here change. In this case 
It's a Windows network. Enter the computer name or the IP address. The share name, we have not set that up on the PC side, so we'll go back here. Create a new folder here. Enable the sharing. The path is another folder that can be, be within the shared folder. In this case, we're not going to use that. Enter the credentials. And this is the name of the soft key. Say PC. You can also set protection levels for the soft key. We'll just leave it at key switch zero. And you can also add an icon. OK. So drive is set up. So we're done with this. Now we can go back to Program Manager, Menu Select, Program Manager. Now we have our new soft key here, PC. Of course, there are no files, so we can go over to the PC, open this folder. Create a file. We refresh over here. We see that we have access to our file on the shared network. So now essentially you can transfer files back and forth from the from the PC to the control. Or you can also execute programs directly from the shared folder. So just to recap, a Windows 7 PC was networked to an 840 DSL control. The network configuration was set up on both the PC side and on the control side. Then a network share was enabled on the Windows 7 PC. In addition to that, a logical drive was created on the control side in order that we can see the Windows share in the controls HMI. From there, the files on the network share can be accessed. Thank you for watching.